We got plates, rods, screws, cable, reinforced iron plates, copper, and concrete. And we were able to actually build this entire pad the other episode and get this far. Today we have a to-do list. We're gonna stay nice and organized. We gotta get some stuff done. First off, we gotta get field research. So I know that needs a few specific items. Let's, let's go to our hub and see what materials we're gonna need to get field research unlocked. To unlock field research, we need 300 wire, 300 screws and 100 iron plates. So that's not too bad. We're gonna go grab those items. And at the same time, we're also gonna unlock the awesome shop. So we're also gonna need 200, 200 plates, 200 rods, 500 concrete, 400 concrete and 500 wire. So we need a few items. I'm just gonna go grab a bunch of stacks of that stuff. That way we can get two knocked out right at the, at the start. Now that we have all the items we need, we are just gonna go do all of our tier levels. So let's get this one sent up uh, to do screws and plates. And then we could do two at a time if we do this. And then we could do this. And then launch. And then we go back, select mission, launch. We were able to get two done at once. Perfect. Now that we did this, let's go in here and make it so that they are finished on our to-do list. Now we unlocked a few cool things. We now have access to a map so we can see everywhere we've been and we really haven't discovered much out of this entire land. So we have a lot of work and a lot of stuff to discover. And then we also unlocked a few other things. Let's dive into what it actually gave us when we unlocked it. We've got object scanner, map, we got a hand, another hand slot another item storage, and we also have the MAM, which is pretty cool. You could do a lot of neat stuff with the MAM. We do need to get some reinforced iron plates, so I'm gonna grab those, and we're gonna build the MAM and see if we have anything we can do some research in. I'm thinking right over here would be a pretty good spot for the MAM. Just, let's rotate it. Let's put it like as close as we can get it to the actual base. And this, this is the man. This is, this is what it looks like. So we have a bunch of unlockable tabs that we can, we can get. Even fix Miss Holiday stuff, which we might dive into. And then we also unlocked the awesome shop, which is pretty, pretty wicked. We have the ability to sync things and also buy some more materials. So I want to build both of those up there. We have a decent open spot where we can actually put all of these. That way we can also get rid of a bunch of material that we don't need. Everything overstock, overflow, we just throw in there and it's going to give us a bunch of tickets to unlock some more buildings and decorations and stuff. It's, it's really cool. Okay, so we're going to put the awesome shop just in this corner right here. And it's a Christmas style awesome shop. Before we dive into that though, I am going to place the awesome sink so that we can start throwing stuff in there and it'll start giving us tickets. We do have a decent amount of tickets sitting around right now. I have 25 in a container. Let's get rid of that and we'll put the awesome sink right in this corner. I'm thinking right about here should be good. And then it does require some power. Now it has the power it needs. So we will start getting coupons once we start throwing things in, but we're gonna hang tight for now because there is some stuff in the awesome shop that we can unlock already because we got 25 coupons from the Christmas tree. It says power, 20 power shards. That's a gift and a half. And then 20, cause it's today's the 20th. So we need to find number 20. It's 21. Where is number 20? In the meantime, we have the few things I want. So I'm gonna buy them. Then I get a coffee mug which means I could sip coffee all day long. The sippy sip. Next thing we need to do is we need to find quick wire so we could get to the blade runners. We are in the grass. We have to go all the way up to the bamboo field here to get the quartz that we are going to need to actually get the blade runners. And then we're gonna have to make some silica out of all of that quartz that we're gonna get and then some modular frames to get the Blade Runners. And what those are gonna do is it's gonna make us run extremely fast and be able to get around the world a lot faster. And we're just gonna 
run all the way over there with our coffee because you can't stop drinking coffee. I love coffee, by the way. I probably drink too much coffee in one given day, especially in this game, especially now that I have it. So I'm going to go get the quartz. I'll be back shortly. That was close. I almost died. I've died already once coming here and I almost died again. That was insane. But we made it to our raw quartz node. So I need to mine up about 200 of this and then we'll be able to go back to base and get everything that we need to unlock. So I decided to get a lot more than I said I would. I ended up getting 400 quartz because I'm like, I mean, I'm already here. I might as well just grab a boatload. So now that I have that all, we are going to head back to the base and we are going to do some unlocks. That was one overnight trip. That was a trip and a half. I died once, which isn't that bad, honestly. There's times I've done that where I've died like four times just trying to get to that spot. It is not the easiest spot to get to. And when you only have your Xeno Zapper to kill things, it gets a little difficult. But now that we're back, we have some quartz and we need 10 to unlock the quartz. And then I need to unlock silica, which is going to cost 20. Well, our main objective, let's get the silica made. We can make 500 so we can get our blade runners because we need we we need those. We definitely need the blade runners. I'm going to put some things away, but I always need to have a coffee and I always need to have berries. I might still have some or I ran out. We got we got 300. We got plenty here. So let's go to the ma'am. Let's go back to quartz. We are going to get our resource upgrade just to give us those more slots, which will make things a lot nicer. Boom. We're also going to get blade runners. I got to go make 10 modular frames. I forgot I needed to do that. Now that we have the 10 we need, we just go back to the man once again. Go to quartz. Unlock blade runners. These are like the best thing in the game, in my opinion. They make getting anywhere and everywhere extremely fast. So let's show you what we need. We need three more modular frames and three three rotors so let's quickly craft those do i have everything i need to even make rotors now that we have the material to make the modular frames let's quickly make i need a total of three but i'm gonna end up having four so i'm gonna have an extra one but that's fine we could just throw that in, in like the awesome sink or something and now we can make blade runners let's get them they are amazing they are absolutely amazing now that we have them we're gonna take them we're gonna put them on our legs and we walk so much faster now. So much faster to get anywhere in this game. And you also jump a lot higher. Perfect. Perfect. So we can now go in our to-do list. Let's go in our to-do list. Blade Runners. Done. Now all we need to do is a mini coal power plant. Well, we have to get space elevator first. Then we have to make smart plating, unlock coal power, and build a mini coal power plant. Now it's time to build our space elevator and we already have a bunch of stuff automated. So all we need to do is grab enough materials to build it and then we'll be able to really start advancing in this game, which is amazing. We have a few more things that we can unlock in the hub. Tier one is finished. We have some things in tier two to unlock, but I'm not too, too concerned. I want to get into tier three and four because that's going to give us a lot more features in the game like coal power and a bunch of other awesome stuff let's make it let's place it that way right there is where it's gonna go let's watch it build it's so cool it is so cool it's coming right down from the sky Big elevator coming from space. It's going to be grounding itself right away. Woo! And now we have our space elevator. Oh, I love it. I, I watch it every single time. And it locked into place. This thing's huge. This thing's absolutely huge and it looks amazing. Looks absolutely amazing. Now to start unlocking some things. 
So, to get tier 3 and 4, we need to make smart plating. But, now that we placed the space elevator, we can now check this off of our list. So we have two more things to do. We need to get smart plating, and we only need 50, so it's not going to be too hard to build. Now that assembler is also powered, click smart plating, let's throw in that. Let's throw in that. And it's just going to take its time, it's going to make these, and then we're going to have 50. And I could overclock it, actually, to make them faster. Probably going to take more power, though, because that'll make us five per minute. No. We'll just hang tight. Now that I have enough solid biomass to restart our power grid, I'm gonna go through and just put all of these in here because we need to have our factory running. If we don't, we're not making any materials and we are gonna need to be using a lot of materials. So close. I, I just need like another 200. These are on standby, so we're okay. We are okay for now. We almost have enough. Almost. Just, just, we don't have enough yet. How are we doing here? We got 30 made so far. It's two a minute. So it's about 25 minutes of, of fooling around. But eventually I'm gonna have enough solid biomass and then we're gonna get uh, smart plating finished and our coal power plant will be up and running. Eventually, once we build it. Hold on, I have an idea. Do I have my, I do, okay. Let's try something here. I finally have all the biomass we need to turn this guy on. And this should be enough power to get us through until our mini coal power plants up and running. Cause we are using consumption 220 and we have a capacity of 300. So when it comes to our coal power, if we want to use Three hundred. If we want five hundred megawatts in coal power, we need to build seven coal generators. So that's the plan. Once we get them unlocked, and we now have fifty smart plates. So let's grab those and let's go to the space elevator. That way we can finish phase one out of. I believe there's three phases and seven steps, or eight. There's eight. There's eight, I believe. So let's load it, let's seal it. And then we're about to send it away and we're gonna unlock tier three and four. So let's do that. Off it goes. See you later. Now, phase two, but we're not doing phase two yet. That is quite some time away. Right now we are unlocking coal power because we only have so much power ability left. We really need to get this coal power unlocked so we can have a stable factory running so we can actually expand more. That's important is being able to expand more, but we also get blueprints. I'm so excited for blueprints. I've never used blueprints before, so we will unlock that and I'm excited. Then there's a bunch of amazing things. You got advanced steel, um, power stuff, hyper tubes, logistics three. But what we really want is coal power so i'm gonna have to make 50 i'm gonna have to make 50 rotors by hand but that's okay we just we need to get this power going uh we have enough we have enough reinforced iron plates we'll be fine and then we might also get some trucks not today eventually but we will get trucks there's basic basic foundries um and then there's also more equipment hand slots this is actually a good upgrade what do you get one hand slot three inventory slots good to know nonetheless Let's also make sure that smart plating has been finished. And now it is time to unlock coal power. So I'm gonna go get all the stuff, make all the plates, come back and unlock that. Now that we have everything we need for coal power, we're gonna select milestone and we're gonna get our coal power unlocked and ready to go. Almost there, that's all we need. Let's launch it up there, and now we have coal milestone unlocked. Thousand. We're gonna go that way for our coal power, but we gotta make sure that we have everything we need before we go, because we need seven, I believe, of these. So we're gonna need 70 motors, and then we're also going to need a good bit of, probably a lot of piping, so I'll probably just make a boatload for that. 
Uh, we don't need a water buffer. So we do need a water pump though. Water pumping station. So I need to do some quick math here. So I have a list of everything we're gonna need to build our mini power factory. I'm gonna go ahead, throw all of this together like I've been doing, because I've been doing a lot of auto manual and crafting because that's kind of still where we are in the gameplay right now. I'm gonna collect everything we need and then we're gonna go find a place to build all of this. Okay, it looks like we have everything we need. So we are gonna make our journey up into this area because it looks like there is some coal over here and it's nice and close to our base. Uh, the closer we are, the better it's gonna be to transport all of our power over. It's just gonna make it a lot more simple and easy for us, which is what we want right now, is something reliable, easy, and close by so we can get back and forth if we need to. But this is where we're gonna be building our coal power plant. We'll build something small for now. We only have seven coal generators with us, but eventually we're gonna do one that's like 100 coal generators, which is gonna take a long time to build, but today we're only doing seven, so it's not gonna be too, too bad. I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our seven lined up over here with our coal coming in, and we're gonna have our water extraction pipes over here. So let's go for a swim. So what I would like to do is I wanna snap to, I wanna build onto the world grid something like this and we're just gonna build this out here a bit and then because we're so close let's just snap on just a bit of a ramp to make it nice and easy to walk up and this is where we're gonna, where we're gonna be building our facility okay this might be enough space but we might have to do a little bit more building we're gonna need water extractors and that should be a decent start so because we're building seven of these our input is over here. So we could either feed everything up top here and make it look nice, I think, which is what we're going to do. That looks, that looks nice. I like that. And then our smokestack's gonna be there. Okay, let's place it there. And then we're just gonna place the other ones right beside because it's gonna be an overflow system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect, it was big enough. That is amazing. Now to do all the piping. So we're gonna need water and coal in this guy. I haven't gotten anything from over there yet. I'm not going to yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're also gonna need a splitter because we're gonna have, take that. Okay, so it's gonna be using 15 per minute. And because we have seven, we're gonna need two setups. Oh, I didn't bring miners. I hope, hopefully I have enough. So, we do 15 times seven we're gonna need 105 so 105 divided by 60 we're gonna need yeah we're gonna need about two two lines so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something along the lines of this something like that and then we're gonna build the exact same thing for these ones here now, I might have enough to actually run the pipes underground, which would be nice. The coal power. Because these are only, these belts are only 60 per minute. I should have unlocked logistics too. So I came back and I made the executive decision to come back to unlock Mark II belts because we, we need them. To run, to run that factory, to run the coal power plant efficiently, we just need Mark II belts and Mark II items. Now we can go ahead and use only one iron or one coal node and transfer everything to all the coal power plants. Thing is, we're gonna need a lot of reinforced iron plates because that's what they are actually run off of. Mark II belts need reinforced iron plates. And then I wanna also make sure I have a little bit of, a little bit of biomass because I'm gonna need to use a biomass generator to bump start the coal power plant. We got everything we need now that we unlocked reinforced, uh, now that we unlocked Mark II belts, we are gonna be okay to continue on our power plant. Oh, we could totally do all the, all of the piping for the water could totally be underground. That look nice. Let's go over to the coal node so we could start extracting over there. Pretty sure it's just right over here. Yeah, I could see it. I can see it. See it clear as day, Billy. Let's have it come out right here. Oh, I didn't bring I didn't bring my shards to overclock yet. Now let's overclock this guy so that we're getting all of the 150 that we need per minute. And then we're gonna use our mark 
two belts and run it all the way to our plant. We need to set power poles everywhere. Perfect, now all we need to do is the piping. So we need to get our water. So I finished piping everything up. We got all of our raw water running to our coal factories. And then I had to run a little extender pipe because we couldn't get all of it through one. So everything should run perfectly, hopefully. And then I also have the Mark II belts running all the way from one chain into each one. And all we have to do now is give it a give it a little bit of a boost. So we're just gonna build a we're gonna build a coal generator or a biomass. Sorry, yeah, a biomass generator. We're gonna connect it to the system. Give it some juice. Hopefully, hopefully this is everything we need. It's not, it's not, it's not enough. Max consumption, we need two. We need two of these guys to boot it up. Hopefully, or I could just overclock one. Okay, let's give it another go. After overclocking it, everything should start running. These turbines are starting. I feel like the coal power plant should be up and running. It is not. Let me quickly turn this guy off so we're not wasting power because we need we need the wires to be connected, which they aren't. That'll help increase the flow rate so this guy will get all the water he needs. And I think it's just an over, it is just an overflow system. So once we get enough going, our power grid should be completely up and running, super stable soon enough. So I just brought our power cable back all the way from our coal power plant and it looks like everything is running. We still have a little bit of headway here. Uh, we're waiting for some coal to get to the final generators properly. But we have a total capacity once everything's set of 525 megawatts and we're only really using like half of it. We're not, we're not stable at all. We're not 100% efficient anywhere near that but we finally have a very stable power system. Boy, have we completed so much today. We got field research done. We got the awesome sink. We built the space elevator. Once we did the smart plating, we launched it, got access to tier three and four. Then we unlocked the coal milestone. We also got blade runners and now we have a coal power plant running very smoothly. There is a coal mine just hiding in all of these trees, just, just over there. But now we have coal power. We cannot forget to put an X on our mini coal power. That means everything is now finished. Let's just make sure it works and it saves. And there we go. We have now finished our list. Keep your eyes peeled for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like. Thank you to all my new subscribers. We are currently, as of recording this video, sitting at 181. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.